She's confident and she's tough. And yet you can see that there's a soft side to her. On this film, uh, we tried to make a very conscious effort to cast uh, women animators for uh, Colette scenes because we thought uh, they would bring something special. She would established herself, but she's still kind of in this mode where she's protecting what she had because she's the only woman in that environment. So yeah, it's definitely, it was, there was a lot to pull from. There was something about having a one woman in a all-male kitchen that research had told me was kind of rare, which was good. How many women do you see in this kitchen? Well, I... I <laughs> Only me. Uh, Why do you think that is? Well, I... Because uh, how cuisine oh. is an antiquated hierarchy built upon rules written by stupid old men. You know, like men. Men, okay. Yeah, 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 you know, show a little gum, you know, men. Okay. The dynamic of animation as a whole, you know, a lot of times you're like, oh, God, it's such a frat back here. <laughs> This is like coming into a whole family of brothers. And it was just really loud all the time. <laughs> that little boy's clubhouse up in the trees when you're little. And like it says, no girls allowed. And you always wonder like, what are they doing up there? But like, I finally got that opportunity to see what's going on. And they're just like playing with GI Joes over like expensive toys. It's the same thing. Seven or eight women out of a hundred animators and you know, um, it can be tough sometimes. I've developed some special talents because I work with men. One is a selective hearing. <laughs> For the most part, the women who come here tend to be women who are fairly easygoing. Women have always been in animation. They probably have not always been in prominent roles. I would have been an ink and paint girl. I wouldn't have been an animator because uh, back in the day, that's what women did. They were the ink and paint girls and the men were animators. They sat in separate departments and that's how it was. It's not really mentioned in detail how she got there, but just from her demeanor and her character, you could tell that she carries baggage on what she had to go through to get to that point. <gasps> Don't you dare. I'm certainly not one of those people who thinks that you need to be a woman to animate a woman. I have men animating women, women animating men. Uh, you know, a great animator is a great animator is a great animator. But I do think that there are male assumptions uh, about characters sometimes made and that female animators would know better. Her motions come more naturally to me because I'm a female, like her gestures, I can maybe decide quicker what she should be doing. I do think some of the smaller nuances as women maybe we put in more naturally. At the end of the day, you just really can't tell whether a man or woman did a shot. And I think a good animator can do all sorts of characters, whether they're male or female. Because not all women are very feminine. <laughs> one thing that was, was, was great is I think, that, uh, I think that we got one of the best kisses uh, that we've ever seen in animation. And Amber really got into this kiss. This may be my only kiss that I'll ever do, so it was exciting, but there was also a lot of pressure. It's just a kiss on the cheek, there's nothing. But uh, Amber tried it many different ways. Trying to pick up on what, you know, what hand poses to use. At what velocity do the heads meet? They had such huge noses and lips. Whenever you have two things meeting, and then you have to like stabilize arms and have bodies moving together, like that's usually technically a pretty hard thing to do. People were watching it in the sweat box and kind of going like this. I was like so concerned with um, making this feel real that I kind of overdid it a little bit. Like it was a little too scandalous. So I had, to, I had to bring it back. It's a very sweet kiss towards the end of the film, but it does not feel like the normal kiss by any stretch of the imagination. It's subtle and it's distinct and it's really great. Colette is in some ways archetypal of what it is like to be a successful woman in a man's environment. Along with her outfit and uniform, she puts on the face, you know, and it's the I'm in the kitchen face. I think it's a much harder, tougher, it's all about the work. I'm going to maintain the same standards. I don't want any preferential treatment. Through the course of the film, you'll see her break down or, or forget to put that mask on. And that's when I think she becomes a very interesting character. If there's anyone that has passion, it's Colette. If it took a man in her world to do something in one cycle, 
for her as a woman, she had to do it 20 times, and she had to have a lot of passion to do that.